Hey guys, Jess Rober here. Today I'm going to be doing just a quick look for you guys using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Yeah, so I'm really excited to have a play around with this palette. It comes with five matte shades and four shimmer shades. First of all, um, my first impressions of this is the packaging is so beautiful. I just love it. Like, Too Faced is always just amazing with their packaging. I also have the Sweet Peach palette and I just think the packaging is just to die for um, and I love the little kind of tin case that it comes in. So yeah, that's my first impression on that is it's really well presented. It's a cute little palette. It's not too small um, but it's not too big either. So yeah, it's really cute. I'm just going to start off by priming my face using the Sukin Hydrating Mist Toner. Now I'm just taking the Matte Rescue Balm by Benefit just to prime my face. And I'm just going to put a little bit onto the back of my hand, rub it in and press it into my face just to create a good base for the foundation. I'm now taking the Pore Professional Pro Balm by Benefit. I just like to use this around the areas of my face that have really big pores. I put a bit on the back of my hand, rub it in and apply it to the nose area and under eyes just to make my pores appear smaller. I now take the Nude Magic CC Cream by L'Oreal which has a green pigment to it. This will correct all the redness in the face. So I just like to take a small amount of that onto the back of my hand and I just again using my fingertips just blend it into all the areas of my face that have redness. Now with this product it has smart pigment capsule technology which means that it will go from the green colour that it originally is and blend in to match my skin tone. So it's really good to just colour correct all those imperfections. I'm now taking my Face Blender by Models Prefer. This is a new product I haven't used before so I got to test it out in this video. I now use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Hydro Boosting Mist. I just give this a quick spritz onto the sponge. Now I had a bit of trouble with this because I had to shake it up a little bit. I think there was something wrong with the pump. So after finally getting the spray to work, I just continued to use that blender on my face. Um, my impressions of this Models Prefer sponge was not very good. I noticed when I took it out of the package actually just how dense the sponge was, which isn't really great. In this video, I decided to try out the old sticky tape pack, which I've seen a lot of beauty bloggers use. Um, I never tried it before until today. So yeah, I gave it a try. It seems a bit weird, but I've seen people using it and it seems like it works. I'm now taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is by MAC and it's a really good eyeshadow primer. It basically makes your eyeshadow stay on for the entire day. I'm taking a flat concealer brush by Nude by Nature. I'm now taking that brush and smoothing the primer onto my eyelids. Keep in mind with this eyeshadow primer that it dries fairly quickly so you need to blend it out quite quick otherwise it'll dry on you. Now taking the Too Faced Natural Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to do my entire eye look using this palette. I'm now taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and going in with the shade Heaven just to set that primer and start off as a base for my eye look. I'm now taking this shade and sweeping it over my entire lid and just blending out in circular motions. This is the part of the video where I realized that the makeup palette came with a little mirror 
and it came with a cute little note as well it says beauty so natural you'll look like yourself only better I thought that was really cute um, and inside it had three different types of eye looks that you could do I'm now taking the shade cashmere bunny just to blend into the crease as a transition shade I'm now taking the shade Honey Pot, which is a really nice metallic gold shade. I'm using the Sigma Eye Shading Brush E55. I'm now packing that gold shade onto the entire lid. I'm now taking the shade Sexpresso, which is a dark chocolate brown matte shade. I'm going to take that with a packer brush and I'm going to just add that to the outer V of my crease to just deepen the eye look. Now I'm just blending that shade out into the transition shade. I'm now using the Colour Precise Eyeliner by Rimmel London. I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera. I found this eyeliner really easy to use. Um, the colour did not bleed out and it didn't smudge. I now remove the sticky tape and I'm cleaning up the edges of my eyeliner just with a makeup wipe. The mascara I'm using is Benefits Roller Lash, which I recently purchased, and I've really been loving it. I'm now applying that Roller Lash mascara to my upper lashes. Now that we've done the mascara, we're going to move on to eyebrows. I'm using the Goof Proof eyebrow pencil by Benefit and I'm just going to define my eyebrows another product I like to use for my brows is the Cub Brow Cream Gel by Benefit I take my eyebrow brush by Nude by Nature, dip it into the product and just fill in the sparse areas of the eyebrow. Now that the eyebrows are done, I'm moving on to foundation. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is a really good foundation to make your skin look matte. It's really good for oily skin. I just like to take some on the back of my hand and use my beauty blender to apply it. I now blend all that foundation out and just make sure that you blend it into your neck because you don't want to have any makeup lines. I'm using the Ramel Age Rewind Concealer to brighten up my under eyes. I also use this to highlight and just dot it on to the highest parts of my face. I also like to put it underneath where my contour is going to go. I take the Models Prefer Makeup Wedges, spray it with some mist and I'm using the Coty Airspun Loose Powder today to bake. I now just take that powder and put some onto the lid. I then put my makeup wedge into the powder and bake the under eyes of my face and also all those areas that I put concealer on, I'm just going to go over with the loose face powder. I leave that powder on for five minutes and come back and dust it all off with my Nude by Nature brush. I now take my Stay Matte Powder by Ramel London and I set the rest of my face using that pressed powder. I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit to contour my face using the Nude by Nature contour brush. And I'm just going to take that into the product 
and use it to define my cheekbones and just bronze the usual parts of the face. I then blend that into my face and I like to define my jawline. I'm using the Dandelion Blush by Benefit as a blush today. It's a really nice subtle blush. I'm using one of my all time favourite highlighters today and that's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. A tip to really make your highlighter pop is to spray some fixing mist onto the brush after you've put highlighter on it and to just pop that onto your cheeks and it really makes the highlighter more pigmented. I'm now taking my Morphe M496 brush to just add the small detail highlight to the under, under areas of my brow and the cupid's bow. I also like to use this to highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm using a new lipstick today and that's the Creamy Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude by Maybelline. It's such a pretty colour, um, really nice and soft kind of pinkish nude. I'm now taking my Too Faced Sweet Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is such a nice gloss and it's in the shade Papa Don't Peach. It also smells like peaches. I'm now taking that dark chocolate brown shade from the Natural Eyes palette to put underneath my waterline and complete the eye look. I accidentally put too much and made one eye look darker than the other so I had to go ahead and fix that up using my trusty Wonder Pencil by NYX Cosmetics. To set the look I spray it with some L'Oreal Fixing Mist. And that's the completed look. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching and see you!